Hi everybody, how's your day going so far? Welcome to my channel. For those of you who have been here a while, it's nice to see you again. And for those of you who are new, it's great to have you. Today's video is called Five Minerals You Need to Know. Now, why did I decide to make a video on this topic? Well, we all know a lot about supplementation, we talk about nutrition, we talk about vitamins, but there are these little things called minerals. I know many of you know what they are, but we don't really speak a lot about how they impact our health. And so I thought it would be a great topic, a great need to know. What are the basic minerals that you need to live your best life, feel your absolute top, and what can we do to make sure that we get enough of them? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. You ready to get started? So the first mineral I wanna talk about is sodium. And sodium really gets a bad rap out there. And I think it's because a lot of people consume too much sodium. And why is that? Well, in all the foods we eat, especially when we go out to eat or if we're eating processed foods, there is a ton of sodium. It can be used for a preservative, it can be used for flavor. So most of us, if we're not looking at our sodium intake, are consuming way more sodium than we need to. And then we start to experience things like high blood pressure, lots of bloating. So we go the complete opposite and think that the right thing to do is to eliminate sodium. And that is absolutely not the case. Now I am 55 years old and I've been researching a lot about hormones. And one of the things I've learned is that depletions of sodium actually has a very, very negative effect on your hormones. So when you don't have enough sodium, it can start to increase the negative hormones in your body like cortisol and epinephrine and that can create issues. So it's really important to stay within the guidelines of sodium intake, but to make sure you're getting enough of that mineral. So as a fitness enthusiast, I work out a lot and I sweat a lot and I lose a lot of electrolytes, which obviously will just deplete my body of sodium. So what I've been doing lately is I've been enjoying these Element Sparkling Water Electrolyte Drinks. They are really delicious. This one is the citrus salt and this one is the watermelon salt. And this is really helping me to replenish my electrolytes and to stay hydrated. Now, when I don't stay hydrated, I end up getting a lot of mental fatigue. I don't recover as quickly and I get brain fog and I really don't like that. So these have been really a game changer in my fitness routine. I take a can with me and after the gym, I will drink it and I really feel like I recover a lot faster. Now what I like about it is not only does it have a thousand milligrams of sodium, but it also has other key elements such as potassium and magnesium, which are also really, really beneficial for your body. One of the reasons I love Elements so much is that it has ingredients that are transparent and pure, and it is not at all like a lot of the other companies that have those dodgy ingredients, so I know exactly what I'm putting in my body. By the way, these have zero sugar, and they're great for people who are fasting or are following paleo or keto diets. So remember, hydration is just not about having enough fluid. It's about optimizing your body's fluid ratios. That's why these are great, and they taste really yummy. Definitely quench my thirst. Get your free Element sample pack with any purchase by clicking the link in my description. Also try the new Element Sparkling, a bold 16 ounce can of electrolyte sparkling water. Okay, so we all know now that sodium is one of those need to know, must have minerals. Let's talk about the next mineral. I am sure you know how important calcium is, especially in the aging process. It keeps our bones strong and it helps reduce the risk of osteoporosis. So calcium is a lot easier to get in your diet through eating dairy 
and so forth, that a lot of people who have dairy intolerances, sometimes that could be a bit of an issue. So calcium supplementation is definitely something I think everybody should look into. It's a very important nutrient for your body to have, for bone strength, especially if you're into fitness like me and especially as you get older. So thumbs up for calcium. The other mineral that I recently started taking, I didn't realize I wasn't getting enough of in my diet, is magnesium. I didn't really know much about magnesium until recently, so I started to talk a lot about it and share, and I found many of you have been learning about it also and have also been taking magnesium and have really, really positive things to say about it. So how have I been using magnesium? Well, I take 325 milligrams of magnesium before I go to bed, that is the dietary recommendation for females. I think men, it's a little bit higher. But what magnesium does is it has really helped me to sleep a lot better, a lot. It it's, puts me in a deeper sleep. It also really helps calm my nerves throughout the day. So magnesium helps to regulate stress levels. Again, it's something that you probably aren't getting enough of in your diet. So I would recommend just going ahead and buying some magnesium and taking them at night before bed. And I'd love to know if it makes a difference like it did with my sleep. I, I bet you it will. The next mineral I wanna talk about is potassium. So the only way I remember potassium being important was when I was younger and I used to do a lot of exercise classes and I would get the leg cramps and all of my instructors would say, you need more potassium. But now what I realize is, as an older adult, lower levels of potassium can even help to contribute to high blood pressure. So potassium is, again, very important. And research shows that most of us are only getting about a half to two-thirds of the recommended daily, daily dosage of potassium. So again, something else that's very, very important. I hope that you guys found the video helpful. I know this is a lot of information to cover, but again, it's really important to think about not just vitamins, not just diet, but the minerals. These are really important things that we can get through food, but we're not getting enough of. So please, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or anything else to share with your experience on these minerals, how you get more of them in your diet. I would love to know. It's always great to hear from everybody. Also share the video with anyone you feel that can benefit from it. Don't forget to like the video and stay tuned for more health and lifestyle tips. I'll see you guys all soon.